Alright guys, um, I'm gonna do a chill stream today. Um, mostly just put this here for uh, YouTube. Uh, that way they know for the few people that watch on there. I'm uh, not feeling too well. And on top of that, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little down. Um, not gonna lie. So... Just... Things not going the way I wanted them to. But um, anyway. I'm gonna relax. Play this game. Uh, no cam, no mic today. Hopefully uh, it, I'll be able to immerse myself in it a bit more. Um, just kind of want to chill today. For the most part, uh, very much appreciate anybody who stops by um, and anybody who is lurking the entire game. I very much appreciate all of you. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and start questing again. And I hope you enjoy the uninterrupted version of this game. You guys have a good one. Hogsmeade, here I come.
Revelio. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. But your things will be safe with me. Until they're sold, then you'll have to make do with money. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade?
This place has seen better days. Just should have took less time, is all I was saying. <laughs> Afraid to take it. Assignment's all finished. <laughs> You're the little freaker. Your poaching days are over. Revelio. Sure, how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Rebellion. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity ever so. Come on then, what you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What I bet you that.
Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Needs a little rest from classes. Can't stay in the castle all the time. No, of course not. Never meant to imply otherwise. <laughs> Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. I shall hope to do business with you again. That's been a pleasure. Could it be a Merlin trial? Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. So tricky after all, Merlin.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. 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 Rebellio. Confringo. Defendo. Levioso. Rebellio. How did you get on with those tasks? Revelio.
Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. There you go. Catching on quickly. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. All in the wrist. Accio. Not bad. Not bad. Accio. Nothing to it. I've seen worse. Up here. Try to beat that. Up 
hier. I'll let you have that one. Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. Eh, lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. Didn't think you were a match for me. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. That was one for the ages. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. All in the wrist. Accio! That was one for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. Missed the mark a bit on that one. We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. I'll let you have that one. Nothing to it. One for the ages. Akio. Ak 
hier. Yeah. Lucky shot. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Rebellion. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural.
believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in mid-air. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely.
wonder who lives here. Rebellion. I 
Grand Rock has fooled you all to your demise. Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Rebellion.
Nice to see you, my young friend.
can bring us. Place it. Defend us. Eight legs is simply too many. Rebellion. Rebellion. There we go. Someone messing about.
Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. 
a charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. That's it. Keep it up. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Such a... Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors 
always open. You be sure to stop Rebellion. by soon. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. It seems all roads lead to Hogs. Rebellion. Rebellion. You will not cast successfully if you don't first see it happen. Lumos. The 
ministry is good work if you can get it. Being an officer of the law in a quiet village like this. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. What are you up to now? Right out of a storm. Shame Bardolf. Revelio. Magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. It's Protego. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere.
Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak. Revelio. Not sure how it's fair in a little place like this. Revelio. should investigate. Up a hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. 
he did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. What do you have for sale? Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Brownrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Thank you for passing through. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Rebellion! It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Seems a pleasant enough little place. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing forever. Please! The window! Ah. I won't rest until you're good for you. Your blood on Ranrock's hands. Revelio.
Rebellion. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. This mentions in theory. Bardolf's turn next. lives here. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. <laughs> Madam Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and... I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no. No. This can't be. <sighs> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Bowman. Uh, 
to learn the error of your ways. One countdown, one more to go. Revelio. Cleared. I don't know, but we'll be glad to hear that. Revelio. Can 
Rebellion. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. I do appreciate what you went through to find my brother. Thank you. Rebellion.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. You've a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Take 
Dragon!
Off on another adventure, are we? Not sure how I fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. What are you up to now? What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a Grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe, but if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. The Grim, if you saw one, is an omen. Omens don't attack you, so I doubt an invisibility potion will do you much good. I can see you don't believe me. Fine, then my blood will be on your hands. No kindness in the youth of today. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rebellion. These rocks have seen better days. Travel broadens the mind. Wizards will be defeated. Or something you need. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure. Are you in some sort of trouble? 
Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? I'm afraid not. I'd help you if I could, but I don't actually have anything with me. Well, that is unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be better prepared. Not a charitable bone in their body. Like me, for instance. My eyes as keen as a nifflers on a pile of gold or a nogtail to a sow. No, uh, I'm not bragging. That's just the truth, that is. Can't help me natural gifts now, can I? It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Nice to see you, my young friend. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Beasts don't mind dying to make me a few sickles. Surprising how many nifflers you can find down there. Mind you, I do have a knack. <gasps> <gasps> Now you're just getting on my nerves. Uh, 
Are you even trying? <laughs> the beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio. Rebellion. that travel broadens the mind.
Revelio. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. I was only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. Quickly now! Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Petrificus Totalus. Well done. Uh, there must be something. Else. Ramrock said so. job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Revelio. Revelio. Orders directly from Ranrock. Spells 
won't save you. <laughs> have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different. Revelio. <laughs> Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Re An unlocking job. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Someone was an avid reader. Can't say I'm familiar with many of these titles. Revelio. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe. Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry.
I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted section. Revelio. Rebellion. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. But look where. Impressive. That must have done something. Best have a look around. Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Look familiar. Thank you. 
was it Akio I used before? statues. Rebellion.
Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. change on both sides of the archway. Something must be different. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. side of the bridge. Rebellion. We'll never get used to these floors. Rebellion. 
Prepare them. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Another pensive. Revelio.
Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Rebellion. All crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, 
She argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before, before you go... go. Professor? Have, have you encountered, encountered swirling traces, traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I should ask Serona at the Three Broomsticks about the goblin she was talking to the day of the troll attack. and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, 
Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races, then. I wonder who lives here. Revelio. Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. right out of a storybook. Revelio.
Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Ravenclaw. Why would anyone bother sending secret love letters? If you want to win me. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. Getting the hang of this. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Let's 
Revelio. investigate. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Arrest on momentum. Leviosa. Meet, here I come. Hmm. 
back from Rebellion. you later. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Perhaps a hybrid. But... I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you'll... So here in the greenhouse, just mind the plants, please. Propendo. Let me go. Propendo. Arrest the moment. The greenhouse won't keep itself in order without a nudge from me. My mother.
I'd take flying over walking any. Revelio. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. it. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. 
Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Hello, Amora.
Revelio. Faculty Tower is off limits to students. Rather poorly, I'd say. 
Is that so? We're raising a generation of of a difference between Arcanite and Arcanite. Yes, well, it's still early. Be a priest. You are to be remanded at once. This must be the Prefect's bathroom. Goblins comes near me. I'll come to new house. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My marks in Professor Hecate's class are superb. Rebellion.
more fun than that. Not this year, anyway. What was what? I suppose you should. That wasn't a bouncing bulb, I heard. Like a wind in a flower bed, I fear you are out of place. Hello, Mr. Moon. 
I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. This looks like the right statue. Um, what was the password? Today we did some of the main story, we did some more exploring, and I finally figured out how to get the unlock key. Um, I might be taking tomorrow off, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I might be. I have to wait and see. If not, I'll be on at the regular time. I appreciate all you guys who have come in, and uh, I'm a little surprised at some of the people I haven't seen in a while. It was good that you guys dropped by. I appreciate all of you, and the lurkers, and... If I'm not here tomorrow, I'll be here the next day. You guys are awesome. I'm going to get some rest. Have a good night. Later. <laughs>